Hello everybody, this is me, Laura Sian. Infinite love, light, and blessings to all of you out there. So this is a beautiful message from Pleiades from a being named Mira. And Mira is a Pleiadian feminine energy. And we were doing an angelic light language session um, a couple nights ago outside. There was about 15 of us. I was um, leading the session, you know, showing people what to say. And we were just chanting the different um tones and it was going up 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 and we could feel it we raised like a very large circle of light all around us and that's why my voice is like this because we go super high and the frequencies are just out of this world that um being at such a high vibration the physical form can't hold that vibration within the vocal box so I will heal it later on, but I've been very, very busy in doing so many different things because we have so many different energies coming in. But while we were doing this a couple of nights ago, um, that vibration that we sent up was, was traveling up into the angelic realms, and then it reached Pleiades before it actually got there, you know, in 4D, 5D, and we ended up having like some kind of a message being transmitted back down. So I absorbed the message and I started to explain to the group, you know, um, what was coming in. They could actually see the energy matrixing in the air all around us. And after that, they went home and felt very, very good, very healed, um, very peaceful, very harmonious. Well, <clears throat> it just so happens that the night after my son and I, we went outside and we were just staring up, we were looking up at the sky and checking out the different constellations, you know, stargazing. And all of a sudden there was like this big gigantic orb of light and it was enormous in size and it was really up there. And you could see that it was like a haze of light all around some object that was in the middle and I knew this to be a ship and I was really excited because, you know, it'd been a long time and I figured it had a lot to do with you know, the message that had been sent up there. So my son's like, Mom, what is that? And I'm like, you know what mommy's been talking about all this time, the beings that I channel, um, those that, you know, the energies that you've seen at my office and at home. Well, here they are. They're visiting now, coming directly down from their place of residence instead of just holographically appearing. And he was just like in amazement. We just stand there like an all-inspired um you know, expressions, and then a helicopter came by and just totally chased it all away, and I was so disappointed, um, but it was a beautiful event, and I knew that there was significance behind the event, so I went back to the office, and I just started to channel the information, and there was a being named Mira, and Mira, um, I've channeled before, I've worked with before, because I have a client that actually ha works with Mira, well, doesn't work with Mira, but Mira works with her because she's guiding and leading through that Pleiadian energy, through their connection. And although my client isn't able to be able to receive the messages back, you know, it still works through the subconscious mind. And, you know, this energy was really beautiful. And I knew that this was of great importance because otherwise, you know, um, she would not just appear directly like that. They usually holographically show up or um, they download the message via the beam. So I said, okay, Mira, I'm ready. I'm ready to open myself up as a channel to you. Let's get the channeling done. So that is what I am here to do today. I want to transmit the message back to all of you because it is something of very, very grave importance because of what's going on in the world today. So I'm going to center myself and I'm going to allow the energies to come in and I'm going to allow Mira to take over. Greetings to all of you there on earth. My name is Mira from the Echeneana in Pleiades. That is the name of our civilization, one that you probably have not heard of. And the reason that you haven't heard of this is because many of the people that claim to channel there don't really channel us. Instead, they channel false higher selves within the atmosphere called the powers that be. 
And while this channeler that is submitting this message unto you today has warned everybody of such beings, no one takes heed. They believe that they know the truth when really all that they know are reteachings of old truths. And those old truths were brought from us in the past in the days of ancient times. We were the first ones amongst many to come here to form the atmosphere of Earth all around the true original matrix of Earth's grid. And it was only when newer souls entered into that matrix that they enhanced in their energy through us, but because of our positivity, they short-circuited and instead became like a virus sweeping through the original matrix of this body of the living organic ship that all of you are on right now. And so with that, it spread an unbalanced male perception of domination and control. And thus, everyone was cut off from their higher selves, the DNA shut down, and then all of the higher self energy trapped by seven seals. And those seven seals are being promoted to be opened because of the energy that's been trapped within for so very, very long. The false higher selves in the false matrix knew this energy was trapped within as they were the ones that sealed it. So upon opening the chakras or seals in your world, you are sending out energy into that layer within the false matrix, allowing them to absorb it. And many of you have experienced dreams, unmotivation, feeling down, and like you weren't getting anywhere. And the reason for that is because there are so many deceptions overlapped on the truths of old, and many people are merely luring you in by reteaching old teachings. And then they add their own deceptions on top. Saint Germain is not an ascended master. Instead, he is a man that lived on earth long ago in 16, 1700s period of time. He's had two physical incarnations, but the first incarnation you may know him as Sir Francis Bacon, and he experimented with dark energy. And that energy of darkness he brought into himself and because of that, when he passed on, he became a part of the false matrix as he was one that was working with it. But yet they call him Saint Germain and disguise this being of negativity as a being of light, as you were forewarned that they would. But yet you listen and you so naively go along with these things instead of enhancing your mind to the utmost truth. So all of us here in Echeneana and Pleiades, we call upon you to ask you to please clear your minds and programs. Deactivate what you've been taught already and embrace a brand new truth. Ask yourselves, why is it that you have not yet ascended? They've made these false promises that lead to dead ends, but yet none of you have even noticed. You continuously work on this and yet you only ever get so far. And because of that, you start to feel down on yourselves. What are you doing wrong? Where did you go wrong in this process? And then you seek more help, and it leads you to others who are also overlapping deception onto old teachings. So what you need is not the old teachings being retaught with new deceptions, but instead you need new truths without deception at all. And that will be hard to find, as many here are just adding their earthly views to these star teachings that were originally implanted here when we all first came in the days of Lemuria. And so now I say to you that there is truth in all of the foundations of the cultures all over the world, but you still have to take away all of that deception that's sitting right on top of it. And as a result, you'll start to put the pieces of the grand puzzle together. But then you'll need to add more on top of that, the new teachings. Teachings that come directly down from the celestials for this specific period in time. Those teachings worked for back then. You need teachings that will work for right now. But as you gain them, you'll have to understand the old in order to understand the new. You need somebody that you can trust, that knows and can channel those teachings to you to help you finally advance and grow in the way that you so long to, to help you integrate your light body with your DNA and your consciousness in order to become that ascended being that you wish to be, to take you out of all self-imposed ideas and delusions.
And so I say to you all, good job. And we all thank you so much for trying so very hard. And we thank you for your love and your devotion to our grand source and all of the divine universal love that you bring forth. But because of that love, we also love you. And we want you so much to be able to grow and ascend and awaken and to leave that false matrix behind. But those powers that be that infiltrated the system, sweeping through it like a giant virus of negativity, they're trying one last ditch attempt to bring you all down. And as a result, they will be released from the portal from their world into the atmosphere of yours. And this will make it even easier for them to be able to infiltrate your consciousness and to work and manipulate it from where they are. They've been manipulating it from the exterior and now they'll have an open opportunity to be on the interior. So please take heed and listen. This is a great time to gain protection, insight, understanding, and truth. Use your love as a shield. But we will give the angelic encoded scripts to this messenger that relays this message to you here today so that if any of you do not feel strong enough, you can get yourselves a Pleiadian grid of protection. But just remember there must always be even exchange of energy as energy usage is valuable and one of the most important things in the universe. But right now, I am asking you with all of the love that was is within the Pleiadian star system and all of the love in the universe too, that you please remove yourselves from teachings that are only misleading you and leading you to nowhere. You and your heart know this. They use truths to lure you in. It sounds good. It sounds real. And it makes sense. But as you go, they slip those little lies in there that take you off your course. So that is what you need to do. And while you opened up your chakras and it was good to release that energy, they did not tell you where the energy was going to go. This is what I'm speaking of when I tell you that there's so much deception. They don't give you all of the information. And when they do give you the truth, they add a little lie to the end. This way, you'll be confused and never reach your goal, but think that you are. So I, Mira, call to you from Pleiades, saying, Release, become like a child again within your consciousness. Let go of all that you think you know already, and relearn. There is still time. But in the meantime, safeguard and protect yourselves. Find out more about who you are. Your soul is infinite when you leave that body. And it'll be who you always will be. It always was and it always will be. The Alpha and the Omega within. And so learn more about that truth. That truth that is you. And everybody's truth will be different. And it won't be according to popular trend in your world. It'll be according to what's real in the context of your light body. Seek it out. Understand it. And add universal wisdom at its highest truth but you need someone that you can trust someone not affiliated with any group or organization and if you do find this person don't fight against it or resist but open up and allow the light of the divine to come through and all of the angels shall guide you as well as all of us here in pleiades i am mira and i call to you with an open heart Sending you divine love and light, always and forever, while you're there. So I hope that you all enjoyed this message. I do apologize for the error in my voice because, you know, like I said, we were doing that toning. The frequencies really do go high. I mean, they're so way up there. And it's too much of a high vibration for the for the voice box um, within a human body. But... That message is really deep and it's really true and it's something that was needed to be said and it's by no means dismissing anyone or insulting anybody, but it, it is something that is going on right now and why a lot of you aren't really making it to your goals. So I hope that you listen to Mira and start your new endeavor towards learning real truth and understanding the old teachings, but you know applying them to the new stuff that you're 
going to seek after. I'm going to do my best to channel and put it out there. You can find it on my website called The Teachings of L by Alora C and just type it on in there. And that website is just the beginning and I'm going to keep building up as I go, hopefully finishing it before my mission here is done. Love and light to you.